Hello friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Natalia Lee. I'm an indie author and the managing editor at Enchanted Ink Publishing and welcome to another might be a writing vlog, might be an outlining vlog, might be a general kind of getting things ready for publication vlog. I'm not sure, but we're just gonna go with the flow this week and see what happens. Um, today is Monday, January 22nd. It was a really good Monday. It was a calm work day. I didn't have too many emails this morning. I got to my copy edit early in the day. I was able to do more pages than I needed to. So it was a very positive Monday and the lighting just looks so odd. Oh my gosh, that lighting is so much better. My camera is supposed to auto-correct the white balance, but this camera I feel like doesn't do half the things it's supposed to do. Um, so where was I? I was saying it was a really good Monday, and it was. It was a good work day. Um, now it's five o'clock. I'm about to have some dinner. I made us some soup last night, so we are having leftover soup, some crackers that I made this weekend, some like CD crackers. So I'm just having a light, healthy dinner. And I have my laptop pulled up here, and I think there are two things I might do tonight. So one is finish up making changes to the paperback of the second book in my Paranormal Romance trilogy, which I am planning on this point. Um, that book will be coming out at the beginning of March. So I have a few things left to update in the back matter for that book, and then that will be ready to be finalized. The PDF can then be finalized. Um, then I can put in for my full paperback wrap from my cover designer and upload everything to KDP way earlier than they will need it. So I think I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then I want to look over the outline for book three. I have not looked at it in a few weeks. It's been a while since I looked at that outline and I want to reacquaint myself with it. And then I know that I also had I think a couple beats or a couple scenes that were still either blank or very kind of lightly and vaguely outlined. So I wanna take a look at those as well before I start working on writing book two. Um, at this point, I in my last vlog, I kind of talked about not being sure if I am going to continue writing the first draft of my contemporary romance, or if I'm going to switch gears and start writing the first draft of book three, the final book in my trilogy. Right now I am leaning toward working on book three. Um, I would love to publish that contemporary romance this year and I do think I will be able to. However, my primary focus of 2024 is getting a completed trilogy out. That is definitely like my biggest goal of the year. If all I achieve is finishing that trilogy, then I will still be very grateful and very happy and proud of what I have accomplished. And I am kind of leaning into that right now. Um, having just finished the proofread on book two, I have reacquainted myself with the story. It's really fresh in my mind. And this would be a good chance and a good time for me to start working on book three. So I am gonna pull up that outline tonight, look at it, maybe add to it, maybe work on it a little bit. We will see. Uh, but let's start with like totally finalizing the PDF of book two. And then, uh, yeah, I'll get that outline of book three pulled up and see where we're sitting. So welcome back to another vlog. I hope I'm able to get more days in the vlog <laughs> this time around than I did last week. Last week was a really weird week for me. So uh, fingers crossed that it's going to be a calm, lighthearted type of week. And let's dive right into the vlog. Okay, I wanted to give you a little update it is 6 p.m. I finished um, I finished all the changes that needed to go into the paperback. I made all the QR codes. Um, I have all the links in the back of the Word document now. So now that I have all of those links, I'm going to send that to Greg so that he can format the ebook. Um, and yeah, now that I have the most updated PDF ready to go, I can grab the final page count. The final page count is 282, so it is a bit longer than book one, which was my goal this whole time. Let me look really quick and see what book one came to. I am curious. So book one, final formatted page count was 260, book two, 282. So 22 pages longer, so I am happy about that. Um, I am actually going to go ahead and 
upload the final PDF to KDP. I certainly have more time to get this done. I do not have to have it uploaded right away, but I'm finished with it. So I'm gonna go ahead, get that uploaded to KDP. Okay, my camera battery died right while I was in the middle of an update to you. So I think what I was saying when the camera died was that I was about to upload the paperback to KDP. So I went ahead and did that. I just uploaded the paperback PDF. I do not have the full cover wrap yet, so I'm going to have to hold off on that, but the paperback is done. It is uploaded. The pre-order date, or I'm sorry, the, um, the release date is set. All of that is good to go. All I have to do at this point is upload the full wrap. Oh, and then I wanted to say, I read through, I completely read through my outline for book three and I added some new details to it and I'm actually very, very happy with where the outline is currently sitting. Um, if you have been watching my, you know, my vlogs kind of consistently, you might know that I had to go back in November for NaNoWriMo and before NaNo as well and do kind of like a structural, uh, a structural content big revision on book two because I felt like so many of the chapters were out of place. I felt like the inciting incident was wrong and I had to do a lot of kind of like moving around on book two. After I did that, I went on to outline a um, another romance, a historical fantasy romance, and I outlined all of that. I outlined my contemporary romance, you know, so I've had more practice now with outlining and with, you know, I've read some more um, craft books and, you know, outlining story structure books. And now reading over book three's outline, I honestly feel like it is so strong. I feel like it is much, much stronger than the book two outline. There's a lot more conflict in it. I feel like the plot lines are going to wrap up nicely and it makes me really excited. When I was going through those revisions with book two, it was a little bit disheartening for me, um, especially because I have always been somebody who kind of struggles with outlining and story structure. It is not, I'm not one of those writers um, that it just clicked for. So I've really been working on that, trying to hone my skills. I have outlined so many books in the last six months and I'm very excited about where my book three outline is sitting right now. I think it's in a good place. You can go by, honey. You're just gonna stand there and watch me. Um, I'm happy with my outline. I think it's in a good place. And I'm actually excited. <laughs> I'm actually excited to write the book. So maybe I will start it this week. Um, I think it's likely that I'll start it this week because like I said earlier, uh, finishing the trilogy and getting the trilogy published this year is my like main number one goal, finishing the trilogy. So the fact that I'm feeling excited for book three, I'm feeling kind of like I'm, I'm ready to sit back down and get back into this paranormal world after taking a little contemporary break, uh, it's a good thing. So I'm not gonna do anything else tonight. I'm wrapping it up here, but I will follow up with you um, the next time I sit down to write, maybe tomorrow or Wednesday. Tomorrow is going to be kind of a busy day. We have an appointment for Gypsy, so that's going to kind of affect my work schedule tomorrow. So we will see if I get to writing. If not, hopefully Wednesday. And yeah, I'll let you know when I'm starting the first draft of the third book in my Paranormal Romance Trilogy. Bye. Hello my friends and happy Friday. I have not checked in with you since I think, hi Sasha, uh, I think Monday was the last time that I checked in with you. It is now Friday, it's kind of the end of the workday on Friday. Um, even though I have not been filming really, I did a little bit of b-roll. Um, even though I haven't been filming, I have been working on things, some exciting things. So I'm gonna get some stuff pulled up and we're gonna talk about what I've been working on this week. 
All right, so when I last talked to you, I think we were going over a few different things. We were discussing my cover design for book three. Um, I think the like upload of book two, the outline of book three. So I have made progress on all of these things. Um, so one, my cover design. Today is Friday. This is so white. Why is it that white? Okay, I adjusted the color, hopefully that's better. Um, in terms of my cover design, I had told you, I think on Monday, that I hadn't heard from my cover designer and I was nervous because their website was gone. Um, thankfully, I did hear from them. I heard from them yesterday, like late in the evening on Thursday. Um, they did tell me that they are closing down the, the company, essentially, and moving to a different company. Um, there are two designers on the team and I think one of the designers is leaving so they're moving the work back to the other designers like personal business um, but they are going to be finishing up my cover I'm so grateful it's really scary when you have a cover scheduled and suddenly your book cover designers website has vanished and you feel like you can't get a hold of them uh, so I was getting a little bit nervous there that I was going to have to figure out what to do about the third book in the series but they did get back to me they are going to finish up the whole series but then moving forward any other projects that get booked with them will be booked through a different company that other company so i sent my um sent the design brief on monday they said they'll have a draft for me next week and then i just sent my paperback form for book two uh today really excited about that i spent some time making sure the blurb was exactly how i wanted it um deciding on the pull quote that i wanted to use on the back cover stuff like that so that is in pro progress now greg has been really busy with formatting work this week so he has not had the opportunity to format my ebook yet uh, but i think he's going to try to get to that either over the weekend or next week and then from there, I will be able to get my ARC copies um, uploaded to my services and out to ARC readers at the beginning of February. And then the last thing, potentially the most exciting thing that I did this week is I started writing book three in my Paranormal Romance trilogy. And I'm honestly so happy with how it's going. I was pretty intimidated to start it. Um, it just felt like a kind of a daunting task to write the third and final book in the trilogy, especially because I don't have experience finishing series. Um, the book that I'm publishing here in March will be my first ever published uh, sequel. You guys might know that I have written and rewritten Whiskey City many times, so I have written a sequel to a book, but I, you know, this will be my first time actually publishing one and being proud of the work and content with the story and the content and yeah so that book's coming out in March and I've officially started writing book three. Book three is up for pre-order and I'm gonna go ahead and get the document pulled up here and we will see uh, where I'm sitting at in terms of word count. All right so like I said today's Friday. I have not written today. I've been doing other um, I've had other like responsibilities that I've needed to do so I have not had a chance to write yet today. The lighting keeps changing in here. Um, so I wrote on Wednesday, that's when I started the book, and then I wrote on Thursday as well. And I'm currently sitting at 2,502 words, and I'm working on chapter three, and it feels really good. Um, when I started writing book two, I feel like book two, I mean, book two was a struggle for me. Um, and I wonder if part of it, part of it is that, you know, I don't have a whole lot of experience writing series. And then part of it might also be that book two is literally smack dab in the middle and many of us can probably relate to the struggle of writing the middle whether you're writing the middle of your book or writing the middle of a trilogy or a series i think the middle chunk can be really difficult to kind of wade through so that might be one of the reasons that i struggled a bit with book two but immediately when i started writing book three it felt good. It felt like and continues to feel like I have a really clear idea of where I'm going. The outline is solid. Every time I read over my outline, I'm happy with it and it actually makes me excited to write the book. And that's kind of a nice rare little, like a rarity for me. Um, oftentimes when I read an outline, it's such 
like it really lacks emotion, um, or at least my outlines do, so they typically don't get me super excited to write, but just having written the first two books, knowing these characters so well, and knowing that I am going to wrap up um, their stories is very exciting to me. So I've officially started writing book two. Like I said, I am about 2,500 words in, and I am currently working on chapter three out of, I think, I don't know, 29 chapters, 28, 29 chapters, something like that. I tend, right now at least, I tend to outline about 27 to 31 chapters. And when I film that outlining video for you, which I mentioned in one of my previous vlogs, um, when I get around to filming that outlining video and breaking down how I've been outlining as of late, it will make sense why my outlines are always landing around 27 to 31 chapters. So I will get a around to that eventually. Um, but that is where we're sitting. I think I am probably going to start writing. It is two o'clock on a Friday. I had a really good editing week. I am absolutely loving the copy edit I'm working on. Um, so I had a great work week. I finished up everything that I needed to do. And now I think I'm going to, uh, yeah, maybe pour some tea, grab myself a snack, and we're gonna start writing. So wish me luck. Let's hope that I can write, I don't know, 1,000, 2,000 words today, and we're gonna dive in. and happy Saturday. It's Saturday at 3.30. I've not yet written anything today, but it's been a good day, a beautiful day. Uh, we did not do our grocery shopping yesterday, so we had to do our grocery shopping today. And as I've mentioned in previous vlogs, uh, when it comes time to do our grocery shopping, it takes quite a few hours. It's like a big chunk of the day, uh, but that's done. We got home, we put all of the groceries away and now I think I'm going to work on my book a little bit. I did write last night, but I didn't get very many words written. Let's go ahead and get it pulled up here and I'll tell you how much I wrote, but it was definitely not very much. Okay, yesterday I wrote 570 words, so I didn't get a whole lot, a whole lot written, but I did write something. Uh, I'm working on chapter three at this point, the second scene in chapter three. Uh, we are approaching the inciting incident. We're not there yet. And we are sitting at 3,086 words. So we're certainly off and running with this book, with book three. And I'm probably just gonna grab myself a little snack. Um, yeah, grab a snack, maybe pour some tea and settle in and try to get, it would be great if I could write at least a thousand words. Um, this book, I have a feeling is going to move slower than the contemporary romance that I romance that I have been working on. The contemporary romance has been really easy to write. Um, there's just something about it that's easy for me. Writing in a contemporary setting, um, it's going to be a standalone, so I don't have you know other books that I have to build off of or anything like that. So the contemporary romance, I was very easily writing like up to 3,000 words a night sometimes. I'd say between like 1,200 and 3,000 words per night and that was going like very smoothly. I don't think that'll be the case with this one. Because it is book three, there is so much um, content that I have to make sure I'm keeping consistent with the first two books, really sticking to the outline, uh, stuff like that. So it just, I think, is going to move a little bit slower. But if we could write a thousand words today, that would be amazing. Um, maybe try to get chapter three finished and then chapter four is going to be our inciting incident. So we're going to dive in. I'm going to grab a snack and uh, cross your fingers that this writing session goes well. All 
right, update time. It is 5.45. I just came back in from feeding the horses and I want to give you a little update on word count. It's been going pretty well. So I'm currently working on chapter four. I'm about to write a wedding. I don't think I have ever written a wedding scene before, so I am really excited for it. 1,582 words. Really, really good writing session for me, especially considering I'm working on a book three. I feel like that uh, that many words for me in one writing session is probably going to be, um, I'm probably going to consider that quite an accomplishment uh, in a book like this. So I finished writing chapter three. I had a bit of fun um, going back to my style sheet and adding new details about characters. I am not the type of writer who plans all of my character details out before I start writing them. The only time um, I tend to plan out details like that is when I have to for plotting purposes. Um, and sometimes I still do it very lightly. I am obviously a plotter. I really need a solid foundation and a solid outline in order to write. Um, but I also consider myself a little bit of a discovery writer in the fact that I really discover my characters as I go. So I did spend a little bit of time on some more character development stuff. I put that information on the style sheet, finished writing chapter three, started writing chapter four. Chapter four is going to be primarily the wedding um, with a bit of like an inciting incident at the end. So it should be a really lovely chapter to write. I've really just written the introduction to it, but I think I'm going to take a little bit of a break. I want to do yoga. Um, I, I hurt my back or kind of pulled my back last week. Um, we have had so much snow here and we've been walking on the snow and it's becoming ice. And I spent time last week like trying to chip ice and shovel a path all the way down to the horses, break the ice and shovel it out of their like immediate feeding area. And I just went a little bit too overboard and I uh, overdid it with my back and I had to take a few days off of yoga. So I'm trying to get back into it. I did it, I did yoga last night and the night before that I'm feeling good. So I'm gonna go ahead and do yoga. I'm drinking a little green tea lemonade that we picked up at the store today and we will see. I might write a little bit more. I might just turn on a movie because it is a Saturday night. I don't want to work too hard on a Saturday night. I already work hard enough throughout the course of the week so I might just relax the rest of the evening but I will check in with you again tomorrow. We will wrap up this vlog tomorrow on Sunday the 28th and we will see how much I get written. So I will see you tomorrow on Sunday. Bye. Hello friends and happy Sunday. This is going to be the last day of today's vlog. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon. I have had a really good day, a pretty productive day as well. I have not written today. I'm not sure if I am going to, but this morning Greg formatted my ebook for me. So that is all ready to go. Um, that is ready for upload to my ARC services. So I went ahead and I got one of those ARC services set up. I just have to upload the ebook to it. And then the second ARC service, you have to pay for like a monthly subscription. So I'm gonna wait until February, either February 1st or like January 31st to get that set up because I want the book to be out um, and available to ARC readers in the month of February. So I'm holding off on one. I got the other one set up and I just have to upload the book to it. Um, and then what else did I do? The other thing I did today was I did some keyword research for my books. I went through and up, updated the keywords for my eBooks and my paperbacks. And that's about it. That's everything that I did today. Like I said, I have not written yet. I'm not sure if I am going to. Um, we did some cleaning around the house today. There's some more cleaning that I would like to do. And then I would just like to kind of edit this video, relax, and uh, prepare for another busy week. So that is all I have for you. I hope you enjoyed this week's writing vlog. I will be back hopefully um, a week from today, next Monday, 
and I will be working on primarily writing book three in my paranormal romance. And then once I get that, um, get those arcs out, you know, I will keep kind of updating you throughout the publication process. I am very excited for book two to come out. But that is about it. So thank you again for joining me today. Make sure to subscribe if you enjoy these writing vlogs and you haven't already subscribed and then you can hit the bell button to be notified whenever a new video goes live. If you are looking for editing services, cover design services, or book formatting services, you can come check us out at enchantedinkpublishing.com. And we are always linked down below if you wanna come visit us at our website. Thank you again for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.